winemaker and project manager Keith Grohl is an expert in social media and pork. He likes his pig, roasted, fried, salted or cured, and of course he likes bacon. Who doesn't? So he trots around the city, nose held high, following the aromas wafting from his favorite vehicle, the food truck called Bacon Bacon. Bacon is a magical ingredient, we know. People have a connection to it. It, it reminds me of my childhood, the weekends, and something special. My name is Jim Angelus. I'm the owner of Bacon Bacon, and we're that big black food truck that says it twice. I started Bacon Bacon with a little loan and a little savings, and it's grown into two food trucks and a little cafe. The bacon that we use it was important to us, bacon is not always the star of the dish, it's sometimes the co-star. So having a bacon that could fit that role, not be overpowering, but yet salty, and when cooked perfectly, crunchy, but still have a little texture to it. Bacon jam, it's a reduction of bacon, onions, garlic, cider vinegar, honey, a little brown sugar. We spread it on everything, we just, we love it. It's got this velvety bacon glow. It'll make you glow. Or you can ask for a, a bouquet of bacon for the purest. Life on a food truck is difficult. The crew has to dance with each other in those tight quarters, and we have such a great crew that works so well together that, that makes this thing work for me. I'm just proud to be a, in the food business in the Bay Area. All right, Keith, I have to say, bacon, bacon. Well, only one thing goes good with bacon, and that's wine, Leslie. <laughs> Yes. We, oh, look at this. We have, is this your wine? It is my wine. All right. Yep. I'm a local winemaker here in San look Francisco. Look at this. All right, I'm going to try a little Chardonnay of yours. Right, thank you. Fantastic. All right, you guys. Well, we're going to toast to bacon and all things pork what and a great pig toast. with your wine. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Yeah. That is delicious. And that would go beautifully mm. with some of the dishes at Bacon Bacon, mm. wouldn't it's it? Gorgeous. Absolutely. And what is your go-to? My traditional one, because I've been going there for years, is called the belly. And it's a pork belly sandwich. And it's layered in bacon and pork belly and a brioche bun. Wow. And when you take a bite of this thing, you're transported to another place. I have to be alone, no one can disturb me, and I just have to sit there and enjoy this nice, crunchy, soft, salty goodness that is the belly. When the belly's not available, I go for the burger. Two hamburger patties, cheddar cheese, bacon, and I always like to get mine with bacon jam, which is this nice jam that they make out of bacon, and I think some onions, it's a little sweet. A and, sweet. Uh, and you were saying, mm-hmm, were you mm -hmm. going for the burger yeah. there, Peter? <laughs> yes, yes, we did. Uh, mm. It's really nicely sandwiched between uh, two sweet buns and uh, made from quality ingredients, some, some local bakery. We did not try the burger, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, we made the rookie mistake of showing up a couple of hours after the truck had right. first mm -hmm. opened. Mm -hmm. As you can imagine, the bacon bacon truck is very popular, and so many of the items were sold out. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to try the LGBT sandwich, mm -hmm. as well Which as the Which is probably the best name for us. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, uh, bacon, the, lettuce, and tomato with goat cheese. Of course, yeah, of course. We also want to try the fried chicken sandwich. Everything sold out. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So what we did have was a fried egg sandwich as yeah. well as a grilled cheese. So mm -hmm. some very, very basic items. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing I will say is you mentioned the bacon jam. Mm -hmm. And I was really excited about that one element because I think that was the one unique um, aspect of the, mm -hmm. the bacon bacon truck menu. Um, unfortunately for us, it, the bacon jam was kind of lost in the sandwiches mm. and so we actually opened the sandwiches just to see if there was the bacon jam in there because I, I have high hopes for that bacon jam. <laughs> just the uh, name together. Just the name, bacon, bacon and jam. jam. Yeah. yeah, so I think it really has the potential to transform the sandwich mm. and I believe you when you say you... You can actually buy it separately. I, I'll separately. have to yeah. go back and, and check that out. <laughs> the sandwiches were good. Um, I think what we felt was they're basic sandwiches. So mm -hmm. it's a fried egg sandwich, it's a grilled cheese sandwich. Nothing special because we couldn't taste that bacon jam mm. come out. I think it was because it was a really cold day and everything everything was very greasy and, and heavy. Mm -hmm. um, it's bacon. 
It's, it's bacon. <laughs> you have to be ready for the heart attack on a platter, uh, which we were. Uh, but yeah, so they, they were definitely very tasty. Uh, I would love to have tasted more of that bacon jam come out. Where'd you go? Where did you catch them? The Soma Street Park. Yep. Yeah. So and you have to go on Twitter or Facebook or their website yes. to find out where they are and yeah, when they're it's there. It's not the easiest place to catch. You have to kind of right. keep up with the truck and, and such. But I think the biggest recommendation I would have mm -hmm. is make sure you go when it first opens so mm -hmm. you can try kind of the plethora of, of things. I really have I have to agree out. with Seema as far as the sandwich is concerned. You know, the jam, uh, the bacon jam, really did not accentuate well in the sandwich itself. It also caused the sandwich to be a little bit mushy than normal, uh, combined with the you know shredded pork in the case of a grilled cheese sandwich and gooey cheese, which right. you know these are quality ingredients. But somehow the whole sandwich really became really really lost. I, I felt the restaurant almost missed the opportunity of using a little bit more higher end breads like some some of the sweet batards, kind of to give the crispiness of to the sandwich yeah. uh, and the crunch, that culinary experience, it was a little bit of a miss. I'm someone who probably has never met a French fry that I didn't love. Highly recommend it. On this particular day, I think they were, they were definitely very over fried, very greasy and under salted. So I, I imagine that it's not like that every day. Did you have the pork fries or the regular fries? So we had the regular fries, mm -hmm. but we added bacon to it. Okay. So we had... Yeah, yeah. You have to do, I think the reason why that happened is the pork fri fries kind of showcase the fries yeah. underneath because you want that really dry, crispy fry to go with the pulled pork, right. the peppers, the bacon yeah. on top of that, because then it's a really nice dish. Um, our fries were really not that crispy. They were a little bit soggy mm -hmm. a little bit, as well as I felt a little bit, uh, the dish was a little you bit overly a greasy. Beer, yeah. right? you, yes. you, you do need a beer. Yeah, and a ginger beer there. Yes. Right. But right. I think, you know, along those lines, what I would say, you know, we live in an age of bacon-infused mm -hmm. cocktails right. and maple bacon glazed donuts, so um, I I hope that they will actually be a little bit more creative with the menu. I think mm. there's a lot of mm -hmm. things they can do. And you have to set your expectations appropriately. I mean, it is of a course. food truck. Yeah. And so it's, it's not a fine dining experience. Sure. Right. But um, yeah, you know what? I think you really have to go and get that belly. The belly is their showcase product. And let's talk chocolate covered bacon. Yeah. Seriously. Oh. <laughs> bacon chocolate was absolutely delicious. You know, it was uh, $3 dollars for the actual dessert, and but it was absolutely worth it. You know, the, you have the juiciness of the and crunchiness of the bacon itself. It coated either in a dark or, or sweet chocolate. It really comes to life and um, and dances almost in your mouth. So I, that was a really a highlight um, of that trip. All right, Keith, this is your truck. Wrap it up for us. When bacon's just not enough, you've got to go to the bacon bacon truck and try the belly. It's such a great sandwich. And Peter? If you're a bacon lover and the truck happens to be near you, uh, definitely check it out. It's very interesting flavors. Okay, and Sima? If you're in the area and can get there early, be sure to get your oink on at the Bacon Bacon Truck. All right. If you would like to try Bacon Bacon, the truck can be found around the Bay Area. Check Facebook and Twitter for location information. The average price for a meal without drinks is around $12.